Our hope would be that within four or five weeks we would have a positive announcement, but we can't get to that decision until we finish up these last projects. Sounds to me like you're pretty far away down the road. Well, I, I think it's fair to say that we're, we're a lot closer to, to running than to not running at this stage. And what are the factors that will go into that final decision? Is it just clearing up business things? Well, I think part of it is the final assessment of support. I mean, to make sure that, that you know, when, you, when you have people who are as formidable as, as Mitt Romney who can raise a very substantial amount of money, uh, or Governor Huntsman, who is personally extraordinarily wealthy. Uh, you have to be able to, if you're come out of a middle class background, you have to be able to raise a lot of money from a lot of friends, and mm -hmm. uh, that's a piece of it. Weaknesses that your critics point to with you. They say that you bring some uh, personal and political baggage to a race. You've been married three times, you've had messy divorces, you're campaigning in a state where the Republican Party is dominated by Christian conservatives, how do you get past that? I think you don't get past it. I think you tell the truth. And I think you share your life's experiences and you admit that you've had weaknesses and that you've had failures and that you've gone to God to seek forgiveness and to seek reconciliation. And then people make a decision and they look at the totality of my life. I'm 67. Mm -hmm. um, Calista and I have a great marriage. We have two wonderful daughters. We have two grandchildren who are terrific. Mm -hmm. And people have to decide on balance. Am I a person that they would respect and trust in the White House. And if, as I am around politics longer and longer, and it's been a while now, I'm convinced that it's all about running for class presidents, who voters like and who voters don't like. Likeability is an issue. Are you likable enough to, to be elected president? Well, that'll be up to the people of the United States, not up to me, but, but Mike, mm -hmm. I don't know that I agree with that as a historian. Uh, Richard Nixon didn't get elected because he was likable. Ronald Reagan didn't lose to Jerry Ford in 1976 because he was unlikable. Uh, Ronald Reagan, I think, would have told you that he ultimately got elected not because he was more likable than Howard Baker or than, than George H.W. Bush or than John Connolly, but because he stood for a set of values and a set of principles and a set of beliefs. As Reagan once said, he didn't change much, but the world came around. And I think that sometimes principles matter more. I don't think it's a class presidency. Mm -hmm. I think it's, in fact, a question at one level of what kind of America are we going to become? How are we going to solve the very real problems we're faced with? And who do we think has both the right principles and the personal capacity to execute those principles in, a, in, in the hardest job in the world?